Dirt is moving on site at the old state prison in Draper. Work is now underway on phase one of this massive new development. New specialist Daniel Woodruff is live there with a progress report. Daniel, what's going in first? Well, Deanie and Mike, you can see behind me these natural gas lines are being installed. That is the first step before some really big things that will be going in this site very soon. Hello. Sit on the table, please. It's lunchtime at Toro Ramen and Sushi. PJ Boldbotter is the owner. We open seven days a week. His restaurant sits on the line between Draper and Bluffdale, just south of where the state prison used to be. We have a lot of new warehouses, business, you know, especially as the prison move. Now that the prison is all gone, crews are starting work on phase one of the new development going in called the point. It's going to be the center of the project. The first phase covering 100 acres includes shopping, entertainment, trails, and more than 3,000 multifamily housing units, several hundred of them set to be classified as affordable. Here we're seeing some of the gas lines going in. Alan Matheson leads the Point of the Mountain State Land Authority. Over the next several months, you'll start seeing roads and parks and water and the other necessary infrastructure going into the project. That includes extending Porter Rockwell Boulevard from 146 south to 600 west off Bangor Highway. This longtime chapel, the only part left of the old state prison, will be included in the new development. Yeah, we're excited for what's coming. Troy Walker is Draper's mayor. I think it's going to be the, uh, uh, the wave of the future for development. Back at the restaurant, PJ is closely watching what's happening just across the street. I'm excited. I'm super excited. It's more business, more opportunity for us. Now, all this initial infrastructure will take months to build. Actual buildings on this site are set to break ground later this year or early next. Deanie? That is exciting progress. Daniel, thanks.